upside down. Listen. Recognize the familiar long neck and tubular face. Signs it upside down, Modigotti. Here's the signature, Modigliani. Amadeo Modigliani, born July 12, 1884, and died in 1920. That fellow died in 1920, and they say his spirit coming through that boy, drawing his paintings, it looks just exactly like his paintings. Now let me just clear up something right here. When somebody claims something like this, that is not Modi Gotti coming through that boy. Modi Gotti's in heaven or hell right now. You hear me? John Edwards on TV and that show crossing over, that ain't a nothing in the world but getting in touch with devil spirits. That is not your grandma. That is not your dead relatives. There's nobody back yonder in heaven or hell going to talk to you. There's nobody in that spirit world going to come back and have a conversation with you. They're in hell or they're in heaven and it's demons impersonating them. You mark it down. That's to fool you, to make you think the Bible ain't true. Watch as the spirits control this poor boy. Six. Watch. Two hands at once. A different artist in each hand and a different picture. You tell me a person can do that? You're crazy. Two faces at once. A different artist in each hand. My Lord. We are asleep. Listen to his testimony. It's spiritual, it's metaphysic. Reincarnation and many things. He's turned reincarnation and the metaphysical. Totally involved by a strange force. And I got paralyzed. And because of this, uh, my mother uh, felt that I was uh, going. And they thought that I'd be right. Because Watch. I'm pain my arms. And he said it felt like a pain in his arms. That the pain. And he just gives them his body and open the door. Isn't that something? Look at that. Da Vinci. Just like it. Watch another style of painting. You studied Van Gogh if you went to college? The famous artist Van Gogh? This is the way he painted. So the spirits approach and I feel the spirits. I feel their personalities. I can see them. I can hear them. And when they think in what they want to do, my body responds of what they think. Look at that. Of energetic strokes, the circular width. They took him to an expert and let him examine him, and they say there's no way a person can do that in that length of time. To say something, Vincent van Gogh, the first great Dutch master since the 17th century, between 1888, an extraordinary. You see, this is an expert. Watch. She's in New York City. A period of time, like let's say at least a few hours. And that artist would stand back and look at the work and then come forward and work and then go back. And here Luis is doing this and just instantaneously making the decisions. It's just astounding. All right, ladies and gentlemen, watch this. His feet. finished product without looking, even signing it with the artist's signature. My soul. There's where kids are opening the door to Satan. The latest tool being used to disciple children into the... Harry Potter is nothing more than witchcraft 101. Being taught in the public schools, paid for with our tax dollars. Are being introduced to human sacrifice, the sucking of blood from dead animals, and possess. Oh, how many ways the devil's got coming in our lives! <laughs> what I'm going to show you tonight ought to make you throw up or get fighting mad. Cartoons for little kids. South Park puts a TV program on there about Jesus and Pal making Jesus into like Jerry Springer. I'm going to let you see just a little bit about they're obsessed with Jesus Christ. 
I'm going to tell you kids here tonight, South Park is of the devil. South Park is of the devil. South Park is the devil's way of getting in your life, of making you think Jesus is nobody. The cartoons nowadays are scary. I'll be doing a presentation on them next Sunday morning in our church, a week from tomorrow. Let me tell you something this evening. You watch this and weep, child of God, and, and pray that one day Satan will get his due because it's going to happen. Hands together and welcome the only man in town who always has a fully stocked wine cellar, Jesus Christ. The only man in town that keeps a fully stocked wine cellar. Listen. Look how dumb they make him to the kids. Uh, hi. Uh, y yeah, okay. Beginning today, we're taking the show in a new direction. We've got some very interesting people coming on this show this week for you. It's God's son. It's God's son. The Holy Lamb of God. That taketh away the sin of the world. The devil hates him. And the devil's using that TV and that music 24 hours a day, kids, to get in your life, to keep you away from the only one that loves you enough to die for you. That boy you're sitting beside tonight don't love you enough to die for you. That girl you're sitting beside tonight don't love you enough to die for you. Only Jesus. You pray now. Watch this. Today's guest is three. Remember, big, big, big. You want to see blasphemy? You've been listening to Michelle's incredible story of survival. Go on. Videotapes. What videotapes? Yay, my children. I am the way and the light. You've seen Let's Jesus and Pals. Now you've got to get the video. Jesus and Pals, too hot for TV. Things get a little out of control. You hey, what do you think about that, people? Are right, you tell me you kids are Christians and you just sit there and watch them do your Lord like that and it don't bother you? Hey, something bad, 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 bad wrong in your heart, kid. You need to turn that stuff off and get your Bible out and put your nose in that thing and get a hold of the real Jesus Christ. You say, you sound like you're mad. I am mad. I don't get mad at nothing but stuff like this who's against my best friend. Jesus is the one that saved me and forgave me and changed my life and put this calling on me that I'm showing you here tonight and that I'm setting these things that I'm giving you tonight. The Lord put that on me. And I don't appreciate them making fun of him like he ain't in Jerry Springer's league, brother. He's higher than the highest. He's greater than the greatest. He, nobody can compare with Jesus Christ. Aren't you ready? Watch what happens as the show gets wild. Order now, only 19. They're getting a big brawl here to make more fun of the Lord. Back to Jesus and pals. Jimbo, why do you think little Stanley lies? I'll tell you why. Because he's on drugs and he worships the devil. <gasps> Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Wow. Now, Stanley, it sounds like your uncle's really worried about you. Well, he did it because he molested me. <laughs> Why, you... Uh, Ain't that something? Jesus. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, that's enough. <laughs> Listen to that. What's Jesus? <laughs> Let's all just make our way back to our seats. <laughs> to apologize. Now he comes on and apologizes for the fight that break out and said, in our idea of Hollywood, we're trying to reach fame and glory and please forgive me like he's a stupid person. Amen. Watch. In our competition for ratings, we all lost sight of why we got into show business in the first place. Yeah. Listen to that. Watch what happens to Where is your producer? I sent her away. He sent his producer away and watch how they joke about it. Welcome to my dominion. Ah! Hey, take your head out. Put your feet out. Me and Satan were just about to go shopping for furniture. Come on, Satan. Okay, honey. Help me now, mamas. You listen to me tonight, kids. 
What you're getting ready to see now is what he really looks like. You see it on TV and it looks like Britney Spears. You see him on TV and he looks like Ricky Martin. You see him on TV and he looks like Christina Aguilera. One day, during the tribulation, he'll come down and call his forces together to take over the world. What you're getting ready to see now in just a moment is how he'll really look. I think it's too late for praying. Snoop Doggy Dog has the devil come into his room. Watch him turn into Jesus and then the devil. Jesus, see, and then the devil. Watch this, kids. Now, all you teenagers, listen to me. When you smoke pot, if anybody gives you a joint of pot, they see how he turned into Jesus, and you don't know if it's Jesus or the devil. Don't know if it's Jesus or the devil. Watch how Snoop Dogg Dog believes that Satan gets into you. Watch it. He's smoking a joint of marijuana, and watch what the devil does. See, there's the devil. See the eyes? Watch. See that? You want to see it again? You know what happens to you when you go out there in a car and light up a joint? You can't see it, but this is what happens, kids. Watch. You're sucking the devil down your throat. When you drink alcohol, you're drinking liquid devil. You say you're crazy. This has made more sense than anything you've heard in the last six months. I ain't that the psychiatrist ain't got no answer for what's wrong with the kids. Education don't have an answer for it. Science can't answer what's wrong with kids. Bless the Lord, I'm telling you what's wrong with this generation of kids tonight. It's Satan. You want to see him unmask after wrecking our cars? Our kids going homeless. Little girls in crack houses sticking needles in their arms. Yes, sir. Yes. Selling their body for five dollars to get another hit. Yes, a fix of cocaine or crack. Do you want to see our enemy? During the tribulation, he'll be there. There he is. I have walked through history under many names. That's what he really looks like. This time, he was. Summon the powers of Brother, when he does, I'm telling you, all you know what's going to break loose. All things are going to change. They're going to be fighting. He's summoning the kings of the east. And he has power to call down fire from heaven, the Bible said. It's all going to take place. All these nightmare, scary horror shows are going to happen one day on this earth. After me and you, us, we that are saved, I'll be up in heaven with Jesus. I won't be down here looking at that. I'll be safe in the arms of the Lord. And brother, you can be too. But you hear me tonight. That's what's going to happen to you if you're still here. Amen. And watch him as he calls the armies into the battle of Armageddon for the great day of God Almighty. Prophesied in the book of Revelation. They're going to come 200 million strong out of the, out of the east. The Bible calls it the kings of the east. There's going to be war. Do you know where all the attention of America and the world is right now? Right there in that little spot, brother, called Jerusalem. Right there where the Garden of Eden was placed, where it all started, that's where it's all going to wind up one day. Satan has left his ugly footprints on this earth and on thousands of teenagers that are in hell tonight. And they're screaming for a drop of water on their tongue. But you have here tonight, you're already getting warned. You hear me. You watch what the devil does as he calls the armies of, of hell together to fight the battle one last time. In the end of the tribulation, they're coming against the forces there in the ba valley of Megiddo, the Bible said. That's where we get the word Armageddon. It's in Revelation chapter 16 and 17. This stuff that's going on with the World Trade Center and Bin Laden, this is no accident. This is no accident, people. It's all prophesied in the book, and it's all 